awesome. So um, you guys went on that 21, and you guys scored the first 21 points of this game. How important is it for your team specifically to have your starters set the pace? Well, um, we've been we've been playing great defense here of late. You know, um, the team were able to, to catch up some in, in, in the later quarters because we've gotten tired, and a lot of people were like, well, "Coach, why don't you just go play some zone?" And, and allow your kids to rest and still try to win the game. But that's not what we do. We try to we, I want them to be tough enough to win the game the way we the way we play right now because at the end of the day we're trying to we're trying to get better for the for the playoffs. And so um, we just we just continue to play every week after and, and, and it's starting to show the the um, fruition of all their hard work. And so uh, four to your five starters there in double figures. Could you speak a little to the cohesion of that group? It's tough to scout us. I think I think at any night we can have a different kid score, 8, 16, 17, 18 points. And, mm -hmm. and multiple nights we've had at least three do that. And so that makes us more rounded and complete offensively. You know, And so if we, we can do that and continue to guard at a high level, I think it's, it's going to be fun to watch. What impressed you the most about your team tonight, their offense or their defense? I just felt like we did everything that we were supposed to do, you know, in a game like that. I feel like we dominated um, on both ends. I feel like we competed really, really hard on both ends. And I felt like we finished the game strong. You know, we started the game strong. I felt like we finished the game strong. And that's what you want to do is get better and better each game. And so I put putting quarters together and halves together in the game. So. Yeah, it also seemed like you guys were uh, pushing the ball in transition a lot there. Was that part of the game plan or just yeah, something we, that you took we, advantage we of? We want to pressure teams offensively and defensively. I feel like we're going to be the best shape team, the team that's in the best shape. And so we're going to pressure them both offensively and defensively, make them have to sprint back on offense, then make them have to spread on defense. Um, by the fourth quarter, hopefully we can wear those teams down. And um, sorry. And what does a win like this do for you guys' confidence going forward in the week? Well, you want to win them all, you know, in this district. So now we're starting to play for stuff, and they understand that. And, and all of those guys want to compete at a high level, you know, throughout the playoffs. Mm -hmm. And so they know that we, you know, even though we're, we're playing Lakeview, we're also competing to get better. A team like Argyle, and teams like Wichita Falls, Hershey, and teams like um, Faith Family and Dallas Carter. And if we can continue to do. Um, things that we're doing right now, I think we'll be able to play with anybody in the state. Mm -hmm. And uh, coach, on your team, who uh, jumped out for you the most? Tonight, I thought, you know, Dante played really well. He's been out. He got he got cleared January the 12th, hadn't played a football game or a basketball game since October. And mm -hmm. so, I mean, he's been out a long time with his foot, with that, with that foot pressure. Mm -hmm. When he came out, I thought he competed really, really hard. I thought he tried to, he played and hustled on both ends of the floor being as out of shape as he is, and we're trying to play him into some shape um, along with running him some as well. So I think once he drops about 10 pounds, he's going to be a force to deal with. Awesome, Coach. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And let me